Hey folks, this is the Fighting Nerd and his co-host Jolly Roger coming to you from the Resistance Bunker. Neither Jolly Roger or myself will actually be on camera tonight unless you count my hand. So you're going to have to take our word for it that we're here and that we're us. Tonight we are going to review the Kershaw CQC-8 Tactical Folding Knife. Now right off the bat I'm going to say I am overall very pleased with this knife, despite the fact that it has a lot of, ah, excuse me, despite the fact that I have a, er, okay, I'm going to get this right. Unscripted and I don't edit too much, folks, so bear with me. Uh, I am quite pleased with this knife, despite some features on it that I usually avoid. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the chisel grind, for instance nor am I a big fan of disc opening knives. But I decided to buy this particular knife off partially based on its looks. I just uh, like the way this one looked better than the other Kershaw Emersons. And the real Emersons were out of my price range. And I really wanted to try a knife with the Emerson patented wave feature. And since I didn't want to pay a gazillion dollars for an Emerson, I decided to go with one of the Kershaw that has the wave uh, feature on it uh, from a license by Emerson. Now it says on the blade, Emerson Design Kershaw Made. Okay, and it's got the little Emerson logo that you can see. And on the other side it says Kershaw. Now, as I said, I am not a big fan of chisel grind knives, and I don't and I don't really like the disc. But I picked this over a lot of the other Kershaw Emerson designs because it does have texturing on both sides of the blade of the handle. I don't like the smooth side on one side and then having texture on the other. It's just for the same reason I don't like the chisel grind. I'm a fan of symmetry. Now I understand why they leave one side smooth if you're going to be using a pocket clip so it doesn't tear up your pocket. But I didn't really care much for it. Now having said all of that, I am quite pleased with this knife. I've been EDCing it now for about four months. And it has done well. It feels very good in the hand. It's very ergonomic. The thumb wrap here is really nice. The jimping is just deep enough to do its job without being overdone. It feels great in the hand, in particularly in the saber grip, and of course the uh, handshake grip is about the same. Hammer grip is okay, and it also feels good in the reverse grip. So the feel of it is great. One issue I did have was, uh, and I don't know if you would even call this an issue with the knife, but uh, after about two days of carrying it, I noticed that the handle was wobbly and that I was there was a screw missing. And I had to replace it with a, another screw that I had lying around. I actually keep all my little tiny screws around because I have a knife collection. Now, so that kind of tells me that the screws were not tight enough out of the box which uh, from now on every time I get a new folding knife with a clip I am going to check the tightness of the screws. Now the cool thing about the, this particular knife and I guess this is something that Kershaw does altogether. This is the only Kershaw knife I have right now. I used to have a little Kershaw scallion but it eventually broke and I never EDC'd it because it was too small. It was just something I had in my collection. but. They use regular, everyday Phillips head screws and conventional flathead screws, which I like because uh, I have a set of little tiny Torx screw sets and whatnot, Torx screw screwdrivers or Torx wrenches or whatever. I've got a set of those because I have a lot of folding knives. But it's nice just to be able to go and get a regular old screwdriver to tighten it up a little bit. Um, now, 
the quality of this is quite good. Uh, there is the blade is well centered. Even after I have carried this around and used it for about four months, uh, zero. Well, there's a little bit of blade play there, but not a whole lot, and uh, it could be easily rectified. Uh, I but I use this a lot, and it's going to come. Uh, it is you know knives are going to come loose. But when I got it, when I first opened this thing from the box, there was zero blade play. Uh, Lockup is quite good. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. When I first got it out, I gave it the wrap test on the side of the table. And it's uh, I've never had any worries about the lockup. Now, there are a few minor problems I have with it. The, the most, the, the one that is most annoying is the liner and disengage. Now, I've got this knife broken in now, and it does have a very smooth action, but there's no jimping in the thumb notch for disengaging the uh, liner lock. And it doesn't stick up from far enough from the frame to for to make one-handed closing easy. I have practiced this a lot, and I had to really work on it when I first got it to make it loose enough to do that. But deployment is good. The wave feature works uh, for anybody that's not a knife person and has no idea what the wave feature is. It's this little thing that kind of looks like an ocean wave. I guess that's, let's see, you can, this thing here. It kind of looks like an ocean wave. I guess that's where it got its name. But what you do is if you clip this in your pocket, when you're opening it up, you can catch this on the lip of your pocket, and it will open the knife one-handed with no springs or anything like that. So they're legal in most states until the idiot politicians freak out about a knife you can open one-handed and try to get them banned. Hey, yes, I am talking to the people, Socialist Republics of California and New York. Uh, as I said, uh, there's not a whole lot I don't like about the knife, but we'll go, so we'll go over the specs real quick. The steel is 18 CR14 MOV. Not a great steel, but this is not a particularly expensive knife. The handle is G10. I love G10 handles. The texturing is not overdone, so it's not going to rub the lip of your pocket raw if you're carrying this with the clip. But it does give a nice, sure, certain grip. The blade length is 3.5 inches, which is a little bit over some of the uh, length requirement laws or length uh, limiting laws of a blade, depending on the municipality. But it is uh, big enough to be useful, but small enough not to be overly threatening. And uh, it's just a nice handy size. Uh, the EDC I retired after four years and replaced with this one was a CRKT M16 ZF, ZSF, which is a fantastic knife, uh, but it got to be a little bit too big, and it didn't have the wave feature, and I like the wave feature. But the blade length is just a nice compromise, uh, long enough for personal defense, if the need arises, but not so long that you're going to freak people out if you whip it out in public to open a box or whatever. All right. It's closed length is 4.6 inches, which again is small enough to make a nice handy EDC. Uh, you can use it as an impact enhancer, kind of like a 
and get it in frame here. Kind of like a, a Yarwa stick or a Kobutan. So uh, that's nice. Uh, overall length when open is 8.1 inches. Same thing. Big enough to be useful, small enough to be carried. Right, and the weight is about 5.3 ounces. Now this is, it feels really light to me after carrying that CRKT around all the time because that was a big, heavy knife. But this is a nice knife, but it is real nice knife, but it is robust. You might be able to see just how thick the liners are. And this G10 is not like really thin G10. A lot of times in uh, inexpensive knives, they give you really thin G10. Uh, scales but the handle scales are G10 and they are substantial and now the MSRP on this on a Kershaw site I just looked it up is $59.99 and honestly if I would have had to pay 16 bucks for this knife I wouldn't have done it I got this off of Amazon for $27 as I recall but in the area, thirty bucks. Now for thirty bucks, okay. But uh, I realize that the companies that make them always have a suggest uh, MSRP that, quite frankly, is usually ridiculous. Uh, the hand. So now it does have reversible left and right hand pocket clips, which is nice. Now you can see, as I said, you can see there's some rare uh, wear on the uh, black coating of the pocket clip and just a little bit on a knife. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm getting a little bit of blade wear and it's scratched up a bit because I have been using it. But uh, the pocket clips are uh, reversible. Uh, they're only tip-up carry, and that is because of the wave. Because you can't really use the wave in a tip-down carry. It is my opinion, however, that all folding knives that have a cl pocket clip, the clip should be adjustable for left and right hand and tip-up or tip-down carry. It can't add that much to the manufacturing cost, and it is so much nicer to have all those options. Uh, as I said, uh, I lost one of the screws because the screws were not tight enough coming out of the factory. Uh, so you can see, I don't know if you can tell, one of the screws is a little lighter because it's, it didn't come with the knife. Uh, I really don't have a whole lot bad to say about this knife. Uh, for the price, I am quite pleased. Now, as this is the CQC, so I guess, you know, that's supposed to stand for close quarters combat. Maybe it doesn't, but I think it does. It's designed to be a tactical folder, but this is not my personal protection knife. I carry uh, a fixed blade for that. This is my everyday open boxes, cut twine, uh, you know, Peel apples, if you will, if you're into that type of thing. Just my everyday kind of utility knife that, in a pinch, can be used for close quarters combat, personal protection. Uh, but it is a nicely designed, ergonomic knife, and it has that wave feature. Now, some of my subscribers are not going to be knife people. And I tried to explain this wave a little bit, but uh, probably not articulately enough. So just Google Kershaw wave. There's a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos that shows this thing in operation. Uh, and there's a lot of different models. Um, so... But that was the big seller point. I wanted to see if the wave actually worked and if it would work for me, and it does. Now, the, my impressions out of the box is I thought at first I wasn't going to like it. The action was very 
very stiff, particularly to close it. And as I mentioned, the thing I like least about this knife is that there is no jimping where you released where you release the liner lock. And it really doesn't stick out enough so you can index and close it clearly. As I said, I had this for four months I practiced, and I practiced with this for hours when I first got it to get it loosened up. It was serviceably sharp when I got it. And I'm not going to do the paper cutting test with it now because I've had to sharp I have sharpened it a few times. And chances are if you're this far into this knife review, you're a knife person and you know how to sharpen a knife. So even if it doesn't come as sharp as you like it, you can make it that way. So there it is, folks. Uh, I would recommend this knife. Uh, and I will probably buy other Kershaw Emerson models in the future. One of these days, when I have a lot of disposable income, I will add an Emerson, probably, to my, uh, to my collection. But for right now, as an EDC, general purpose, everyday, carry it around knife, 30 bucks, I do actually recommend this knife. So... I bid you to remember to draw your knife, knife, excuse me, to draw your knives only in just purpose and to sheathe them only with honor. And with that, I bid you good night. This is the Fighting Nerd and his co host, Jolly Roger, and we once again bid you good night from the Resistance Bunker.